and welcome back <laughs> welcome back guys to the channel um just want to say a quick thank you to the new subscribers to the people who shared the video the first video um thank you thank you um hopefully by after this video we can reach 100 subscribers you know I'm starting small, it's small man. Yeah, but anyways, thank you. So this video we're gonna finish off the six. <laughs> the six. <laughs> the six W's. Yeah, six W's. Yeah. So so far we did who, where what and why so today we are going to be doing when and how reason why just those two because the answers for those two questions are kind of long and i don't want the video to be like a whole 20 minutes now so getting straight into it when did i start liking jazz quick answer i don't know because when i think about it most of the cartoons i enjoyed as a child had a lot of jazz music in it. I mean, we're talking Tom and Jerry. Is you, is you, is you ain't my baby. You know that song. Um, Looney Tunes had it. Pinky and the Brain had it. The Animaniacs had it. Sesame Street had it. The Busy World of Richard Scary had it. A lot of cartoons and shows I watched as a child had jazz music. So it was always there. So I really don't know when I started liking it, but I know when I decided, hey, this type of music is what I want to play. I was like between 23 and 25, somewhere around there. I don't know, a whole three year bracket, but somewhere there. And was going to a jazz jam session by this place on that street behind UTT in Port of Spain or behind Napa in Port of Spain. I can't remember the name of the street, but if you all know the name of the street, just put it in the, in the comments. Yeah, because I really can't remember. Yeah, I really can't remember. So yeah, had this little place on that street that I used to have like a little jam session. I used to go there, met some of the musicians, learned a bit more about the music. Improvise a little bit. Was a little shy then because I didn't know nothing. So yeah. You know, that was my first time really getting my foot wet in jazz music. Um so since then I've not been the most um diligent musician. I slacked off a lot. I mean within the last year I've yeah, let's not talk about that. The next question is how do I approach improvising? This this might actually have a part two in another video, just so I know you know now. But just to kind of brush over it, like just you know, brush, brush over it, you know, gently. Um when I now started out, um, I just focused mainly on trying to listen to where the music was going harmonically and melodically. And, you know, try my best to articulate what I'm playing. Because at that point in time, I didn't have all the lines and runs and, you know, how to analyze course. Because I didn't even do jazz theory in school as yet. Now, after doing the jazz theory, understanding it, and knowing how to analyze chords, knowing what I'm hearing most of the time, you know, it's, it's actually, my approach has changed from how it was before, but I still rely on that because I realize that is a very, very good place to start, especially as a beginner because it helps you develop these things 
in your ears. Yeah. yeah. So it helps you develop your ears because I relied mainly on listening to what was going on in the music and not what was going on in my head. And that is something that I know some musicians struggle with. They hear the music, they know what they can play here, and they play what they can play from here, and sometimes it doesn't really gel with the music sometimes, you know? Sometimes it does, you know, because, hey. But that is my general approach. I have another video. Well, we will have another video going more in depth into that and so like how to approach improvising, what is my approach, what is my take on it, you know. But one thing I will always say, improvising is composing on the spot. And at any time, always think about what you are trying to see musical yeah so that's it for this week's video i will be dropping a flute cover something you know on friday yeah this friday the whatever the friday is time is immaterial um so yeah friday i'm gonna see you all so 